So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do native advertising. Now, a little bit about me. I've spent millions of dollars on advertising and hundreds of thousands on native ads. And I'm gonna show you how to properly research your competitors, find the right ads, how to create an ad. And we're gonna, I'm gonna be walking you through live here on my computer. We're gonna set up an ad on a native advertising network. And I'm gonna show you how to just test things out and make sure you can optimize your ads to be better. So let's get on my computer and I will show you how everything is done. The format for this video is first we're going to research, okay? Research is the foundational element for all marketing. You wanna know what your competitors are doing so you can do it better. Second is we're gonna create an ad, surprisingly easy. I'm gonna keep this video pretty short and I'll show you how to create an ad really easily. Then we're gonna test it out. I'm gonna do some native advertising, whatever. So let's get on my computer right here. Let's check out what's going on in the native advertising world. Now native ads, one thing to understand is native ads show up, they, they look like suggested articles. And typically where they're showing up is on news sites or opinion sites or what have you. So we're gonna start on a new site um, called theblaze.com. Um, as we see, this is a this is just a commentary site, and we're gonna see, you know, this this article that they post, realtors beware, blah, 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 blah. Now typically we're gonna scroll to the bottom and we'll find the native ads down here. And here we see it. We see Taboola Feed. So Taboola is a native advertising network, and we see some native ads right here. They look just like regular suggested articles. Here's one. If we scroll down, we see two more native ads. See it in real tiny print, it says sponsored right here. And it shows the name of the company, The Motley Fool, Wikibuy. And let's open up some of these sites. We see more native ads. This looks like, this is a, an affiliate advertisement actually. So we'll look at that as well. So this is an affiliate advertisement for solar panels. Okay, now here we go on one of the sites. We see Newbury Park, California proves little to no cost solar. And they say if you're paying more than $99 a month for power, you might qualify for zero down solar panels, blah, 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 blah. And then there is an affiliate link, it looks like right here. So these are affiliate links to go to a separate site. This is an affiliate advertisement and this company will make money the company who's placing the ads on Taboola, each time somebody fills out this form and requests a quote for installing solar panels. Let's look at some of the other advertisements. Okay, we see another solar. We see 20 places to place 50K. Looks like they are doing ad arbitrage as their business model. And then we see other direct response sites, five stocks for potentially building wealth. And you see this is an advertorial um, and they're trying to get you to enter in your email address right here so they can continue to market more products to you. And I'm assuming they're probably offering something for sale after you enter in your, uh, your email address. Let's check this out. And sure enough, they're offering a product or a newsletter for $99 um, to get their email newsletter of the best stocks to purchase. That's this company's business model is they're helping you find stocks to uh, invest in. They're, they're claiming to have, you know, some sort of special information and you can, you can purchase a subscription to their newsletter to hopefully make more money from stock investing on their website. And so, and look at all these, look at all these nice charts. Everything's going up. <laughs> it looks pretty good, right? Got to subscribe to this newsletter. So let's get back to native advertising. Now, once you've done research on your competitors, you should have a few different advertisements to start with. If you can't just find native ads for your competitors or for companies similar to what you're going to be advertising, what I suggest you do is you use some sort of ad spy tool. So you can use a, a site like AdBeat. You see AdBeat right here allows you to instantly uncover people's advertisements. So we can search for, let's say if we wanted to search for uh, weight loss. So you can use AdBeat to find other companies who have, you know, advertising in your niche. And we see that this company is doing, you know, native advertising. And uh, we can see where, what their ads look like 
if we click see top native ads. Now this software is a paid subscription so we can't go any further but we can get an idea of what some of their ads look like if I had subscribed to this uh, service but right now it's not necessary because we're not finding a weight loss ad. I just want to give you an extra tool that you can use to find ads even quicker and easier. That being said, I find just perusing the internet sometimes is the best way to find ads in your niche. So given that we found some native ads using the Taboola feed, we're gonna actually go on their advertising network and set up an advertising campaign just to show you how fast and simple and easy it actually is. So if I open up a new tab and I go to taboola.com, We'll see, this is one of the major native advertising networks and they give some information on how you know their ads look. They have a video here, they have resources, um, they have learning and they kind of explain to you how their advertising network helps people, who advertises with them, etc. Taboola places ads on MSN, Fox News, CBS, NBC and a lot of other major news sites, thousands and thousands. So it's a very effective way. I've personally spent thousands and thousands of dollars with Taboola to advertise different affiliate products that I was uh, promoting in the past. And it's very effective place to place advertisement if you're targeting a very large audience, okay? I'm talking big niches such as, you know, health or wealth, you know, weight loss, skincare, muscle supplements, making money, investments. You know, big niches where lots of people um, want to buy the product. And here we are in Taboola. Now once you've signed up for Taboola as an advertiser, you'll want to go, uh, it's called Taboola Backstage and this is where you set up the advertisements that you place. Now in order to place advertisements, you'd go over here to Campaign Management and you'd click there and then you'll want to click this button which says Create New Campaign. Now once we create new campaign, you'll get to the new campaign setup screen. So in our case, what we're looking for is, let's say we're looking to generate leads. So I'd click that if we're doing that, or I would click online purchases. It doesn't really, I don't think it really matters. I'm just gonna say demo and branding text. Let's use, let's just say that this is our site, okay? Weekly Penny. So I'm just gonna copy this site and we're going to set up an ad around this page. So I would just say, weekly penny okay i click start as soon as reviewed these these things are fine and native advertising let's say that since i'm getting you know in in this example i am trying to get people to contact a solar energy company my assumption is that the solar energy company is only working certain hours of the day so um, in this case i might actually set my ads to only appear certain times of day. So I might say, okay, Monday, specific hours, and I would say, you know, 9 a.m. to, you know, uh, 5 p.m., okay? I could do that for all of the things. Okay, then I would set up my targeting locations, say United States, or if I was targeting just a particular place in the United States, I would select that. And I'm just gonna say entire country. And depending on what I want, I could, you know, change my selections. I wanna, I want only people on desktops. Now, here we go. You know, let's say the bid amount. Generally speaking, you wanna start with a higher bid so you can get into what's called the algorithm. What you have to understand is there's plenty of advertisers using Taboola. They're only gonna show your ads if your bid is slightly higher or on par with the next person. So generally speaking, if you want traffic, you start your bids high and then you move it down. It's gonna be much easier to start high and then move down than to start low and move up. And the reason for this is, is simply because it's the advertising algorithms. If Taboola's computer that manages everything sees that you have a low bid, they won't give you much traction. I don't know, I guess this is just personal experience. I've always found more success in starting a bid high than low. So I'm gonna start it at two bucks per click. It's actually, look at this, it says that the bid amount is higher than our normal network bid range. I'm just gonna say approve. And then let's do CPA goal. Our CPA goal for this campaign might be $25. Spending limit, 
let's say our goal in the beginning is $250. We're not going to spend more than $250 here. And we'll do a balance delivery. This means that we are spreading our spend over the hours. We'll do optimize. We'll leave this all the same. And then we'll click continue. So after this, it's just asking us to confirm our information. And what I'll do is I'll just click submit campaign. Okay. And then it will ask us to paste our campaign URLs here. So what we'll do is just assuming that this is our uh, website. And as you see, let's, let's copy and paste this link. We paste our URL into here. Um, now what's funny is look, you can see that this is an affiliate site just because it has the affiliate ID right there. So we know 100% that this is a uh, affiliate marketing campaign that's running on Taboola. So here we just click add. And what we'll do is we will create an ad based off of this. So it already generates a thumbnail and it generates an idea of a title for us. We could move forward and click finish right here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tweak the ad to make it look more like our control here. Because generally speaking, I only want to do advertising that is that is proven and effective. So I'm going to actually take this ad and I'm going to do it very similar to that. So let's copy the text of this ad. Okay. So California will pay you to install solar if you live near Newbury Park. Now this would only apply to people that live close to Newbury Park, but let's let's look at to see if there's some sort of dynamic parameters. And I just googled Taboola dynamic parameters and we see the first article here is dynamic URL parameters for titles and we also have dynamic keyword insertion for titles right here. So I'm going to open up both of these both of these articles to see if I can suss that out this information here. So this is pertaining to tracking. So this is not what we're looking for. But what we see here in the Taboola Help Center is dynamic keyword insertion for titles. So this is going to help us out. And what we see down here is that they have dynamic parameters for country, region, DMA, city, platform, or day of week. So this is good. Okay. So this is great. And they even have an example right here of how to do dynamic titles in Taboola. So we see everyone in city capitalized is talking about these shoes. I don't know if you can see that, but this is very helpful for making our advertising more effective. The more your ads can relate specifically to that specific user in that specific location, the more likely somebody will click on your ad. So let's go back here. We have city colon capitalized. So I will go back to here and I will do, I will add in this dynamic parameter. Okay. State capitalized. We're going to change this also for the city too. Now let's check to see if our ad is set up correctly. Okay, it looks like city is right. And we also see, okay, they don't use state, but they use region. So this will, it will include the region, including states that the user is browsing from. So I need to change this around to region. And I click OK. So here we go. That is our ad and now what that ad will look like is it will say whatever state somebody is based in will pay you to install solar if you live near whatever city the person is based in. This is a great ad and this allows us to have a highly effective advertisement that is we already know works if we're advertising solar energy. Now you can do this for any niche. Um, what I did was showed you just how to quickly find an affiliate campaign on native advertising. I looked at the URL, I looked at a few other things, and I quickly set up an affiliate campaign on native advertising. All I have to do now is click the finish button right down there and my campaign will have launched. 
people, it's so easy to get started as an online marketer. If you're interested in going deeper into this uh, world, I, I currently work for myself and I make over a million dollars per year as a marketer. If you wanna learn more about what I do and how you can be an affiliate marketer too, you can subscribe to my channel